You have both on? Test prep, college advising services, scholarships, and wellness services. We hope that you'll come visit us on our collegetrack.org website. And best of luck to you tonight. Thank you so much, Elisa. All right. They are at collegetrack.org. So check out their great work. Maybe give a little if you can. So, y'all ready to roll? You ready to rock? Huh? Question number one is coming right up. I can hear those questions oozing under the door. They're all ready to get asked. No delaying it any longer. Let's do it. You'll do this for me, Lynn? Here we go. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Which is not one of the major divisions of the Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament, or the brand New Testament. What's it going to be? Oh, All right. We're not selling cars here. Brand new for 2021 isn't a selling point the way thousands of years of tradition is. So most churches stick to the Old and the New Testaments. Oh, yeah. 82,254, you got it right. The brand New Testament is not one of the major divisions of the Bible. <laughs> Q2, let's make an exodus to question number two. Which major league sport does not use a clock of any kind? Baseball, hockey, or basketball? What's it going to be? Lock it in. All right, when you think about it, this is kind of a weird outlier sport that doesn't simulate warfare or have a defined goal area. And George Carlin said the object of baseball is to go home. Baseball, y'all. 78,614 knocking it out of the park. Oh, yeah. Okay, hey. I need y'all to check this out real quick. My main man, Miles, drew this for me. He's only 12 years old. How dope is that? Thank you so much for playing with your family every night. Miles, we love you guys. For the children. <laughs> All right, Q3, baby. Here we go. Which of these is traditionally a woman's style of hat? Bicorn, bowler, or baton? Mm. Personally, I say wear whatever keeps the sun off you. You know what I'm saying? But fashion catalogs got to prescribe what looks good on who. That's what they do. The bowler is your classic British businessman hat. Uh, Napoleon wore a bicorn. And Breton's a more uh, Queen Elizabeth thing. Sorry, babe. What'd you say? Long live the queen! <laughs> Q4. Ah, oh, knocking on your door. 38,318. Nailed it. You deserve yourself a spot of tea. What's Jolly, good job. That's terrible. Q4, here we go. The laminated plastic for mica was invented as a substitute for what? Ceramic, slate, or mica? Is it, is it for ceramic? Oh, mica. Okay, just seeing if you're paying attention. Even though the word already existed as a genus of ants, I the countertop kind of for mica was named because it's a cheap insulator, making it a great substitute for mica. Mm. Woo! Mm. Oh my gosh! That's the first savage question. Oh. Savage question song! Sorry you got it wrong! Woo! 18,466. Got it right at Q4. On to Q5. For the children, let's go. Which is one of the five mother sauces of French cuisine? Demi glaze, hollandaise, or revigote. What's this movie? French chefs gotta learn the five basic sauces that all others are derived from, okay? For example, velouté, velouté, velouté. That's one, right? Mm -hmm. But with a few added ingredients, you get revigote. I keep saying it in Italian, it's French. Revigote. <laughs> but egg yolk, butter, and lemon juice get you the mother sauce. Holidays. Yee yee! 19,986. Got it right. Spread that on little, you know, uh, eggs, Benny, at brunch time, and you got yourself a whole situation. Woo! Q6. Let's go. Which of these movies was not released in 3D? Hugo, Inception, or Life of Pi? What is it gonna be? Digging into your movie knowledge, babies. Check it out. Studios are generally in favor of 3D for big releases, right? But some really fun movies also have a, a serious factor that's compromised if you use a gimmick. 
Sometimes the director takes a stand like Christopher Nolan did on Inception. Richard Parker! That's from Life of Pi. 12,315, y'all got it right. Inception! This is my Inception. Just when I thought I said all I could say. It's halfway through the game, y'all. You know what time it is. Look at your hands. Come on now. You got to clean it up. Sanitizer break. Sanitizer break. Sanitizer break. <laughs> so clean. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Because his leg is broken. <laughs> That's not funny that your leg is broken, but I get, I see what you did there, player. Get well soon, dog. Oh, man. <laughs> Sanitizer break. So clean. Okay. Here we go. Q7. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, play it again. Sanitizer break. Sanitizer break. Sanitizer break. So Why clean. Am I laughing so? Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, how did you gotta DM me? Tell me what happened, man. That's, that's I hope you get well soon, please. So clean. All right, Q7. The sentiment: anything that can go wrong will shares its name with a kind of what? Bed, truck, or utensil. Y'all got this. Come on now. Okay, no one's quite sure who first stated this law or or when, but. Over the years, the principle of preparing for failure came to be called Murphy's Law. Just like those old-timey beds that fold up in a wall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 10,135. Got it right. Oh, uh, it's a Murphy bed. And a Murphy Law. Yeah. Q8. Hope you're feeling great. Check it out. What actress slash model made Don't Take Me Because I'm Beautiful? A catchphrase. Kathy Ireland. Kelly LeBrock or Elle McPherson? Who is it? I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> How'd you like to work all your life, staying physically fit and attractive? Okay? Only to appear on a commercial implying that it's the shampoo that did it. At least it was a good payday for a woman in red and weird science actress Kelly LeBrock. Take a look at this. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Pantene shampoos and conditioners. And it's always beautiful. Just like mine. Okay, Kelly. You better work. Shoot. 7,251 of you got it right at question eight. Four more questions stand between you and the $5,000 prize. So let's get into Q9, shall we? Maybe it's question nine. <laughs> Which nation has no currency with a hippopotamus on it? Burundi, Swaziland, or Tunisia? I hope that y'all memorize all the African currency, okay? I told you to do that when we came back. I was like, look, HQ Trivia's back. I need y'all to do me a favor. Memorize all the African money, okay? So if you didn't, that's on you. <sighs> but don't worry. You can still get this by knowing where in Africa hippos like to chill, okay? Yeah. They stick to the sub-Saharan area well out of the way of up north Tunisia. Oh my gosh, that's a seventh hippopotamus question. Yeah, Tunisia 2,534 got it right. Ain't no hippos in Tunisia. Come on now. Question number nine, babies. <laughs> Are the hippos where Reggie lives? No. But look at them. Yeah, Santa Tazel Bear. Sanitizer bear, sanitizer bear, in a tub. It's Reggie in a tub. <laughs> so clean. <laughs> okay, question number 10, babies. Only three more questions remain. Here we go. Where did Peter Pan first appear? A play, a lyric poem, or an adult book? All right, sure, we all know that Peter was a children's book a century ago. And many of us know it was a stage play before that. But even earlier, J.M. Barry dropped Peter into The Little White Bird. That's a 1902 novel aimed at adults. What? Did you get it? Yeah, you did. 1,130 of y'all came to play. I came to pay. Whoa, two more questions to go. Q11, 
all dogs go to heaven. Let's get into it. Oh, he can sell those. Which sea creatures can reportedly edit their own genetic material? Cephalopods, crustaceans, or tawny gray? I could spend an hour explaining this, but instead of robotically obeying their genes, some creatures proofread their RNA as they go, making whatever they consider to be improvements. This includes cuttlefish, squid, and octopuses. The cephalopods. 1,040 naughty sh- 1,040 naughty shorty! Baby girl, when woman do it in tight, cola wanna be keeping you warm. You did it! You're going to the final quest of the game, y'all! <laughs> Wanna be the papa, you can be the mom. Oh oh. I thought you were putting the bridge there. <laughs> I got the right question 12 to shelter you. Sorry. Here we go. Q12. Which band recorded the most studio albums before releasing a self titled album? The Beatles, Def Leppard, or Metallica? Y'all got this. Focus up. Q12, babies. Okay, well, you want to make sure you're good before putting your name on it, right? Okay, Metallica was Metallica's fifth. The Beatles, a.k.a. the White Album, was their tenth. But Def Leppard made ten whole albums before 2015's Def Leppard. Oh, yeah! That's a savage question, but we have 351 winners of HQ Trivia, baby! Let's go! Woo! Rocket ship! Let's go! <laughs> I can't get over that guy seven times of breaking with his foot. Oh, okay. He's in good spirits, though. That's that's a great thing. Yes, that's that's a nice chunk of change right there, baby. Spalia, Braid Laco, Jerry Sai. So many pets in the front. Water Lily, SN89, Nitzerk. Kim can't, uh, yes you can. Yes you can, Kim. <laughs> Agent Jack, a uh, good back. What a guy, a uh, so fly. Say you can, come again. What's it, pa? There you go. Go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's the way the game ends tonight. But every game is equally unpredictable. So who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow night, huh? The only way to find out for sure is to be here. Same time, on the same app. That charity, again, is collegetrack.org, helping promising young people with a 10-year commitment to their educations and their futures. Check them out and give some money if you can. Until we see each other again, this is your boy, Matt Richards, asking, how do I address Anna, uh, how do I address Janet Jackson if my maternal grandfather was nasty? Hmm? How?